books and movies, there are really advanced robots that look and act just like people. So we thought it would be really cool, like art, to make a robot of him. So that's what this is. It's like an interactive sculpture. Um, Hanson Robotics made the face, the material, and all the mechanicals and stuff that you see, and we did the hardware, uh, we did the software. Okay, right now what he's doing is he's looking around the room, he's looking for faces. When he sees a face, he tries to turn his head, so he looks you in the eye. There's actually a camera in his eye, and you can see what he sees out here on the monitor. He'll draw a little yellow box around your face when he sees your face, and then he'll try to move his head, so he's looking you in the eye. Um, that's not all he does. You can also talk to him, and he talks back. I'm going to demonstrate that really quickly with this microphone. Um, this is the end that you talk into. We've kind of been experimenting with different ways of holding it, because people seem to like to hold it like this. So I'm going to try that, although I've never done this before, so I hope it works. What is your name? My name is Phil. Okay. We can try holding it like this. What? Where were you born? I like games like poker and blackjack where you get some money. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is The Bicentennial Man. Have you seen The Bicentennial Man? Okay, so let's try it like that. It seems people seem to be more comfortable with that than actually... Hear it? No, it didn't hear it. Try again. What is your favorite color? I don't 